Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a first impression on Laura Mercier and Black Opal setting powders. I have a video on this powder already. I'm just going to put the link right here so you guys could see that video. Let me just say this powder is so good for women of color, but I know not everyone could afford $40 on powders. It is expensive. I talk about the black opal setting powder all the time in my videos. I love this powder. I think that's one of the best powder at the drugstore for women of color. I don't know any other powders out there, but for now, I am loving the black opal setting powder. This is like my crack baby. <laughs> It is, especially when you're using a concealer that is so light. I did a few videos where I use very light concealers and the black opal was a lifesaver. I always have that on my desk when I'm doing videos. I just love the way that it feels on my skin. It's very natural under the eyes. For the Laura Mercier, I'm going to be using this side. And I'm also going to put all over my face so you guys can see how it looks. And for the black opal, the same thing now the black opal you could get it at any Dwayne Reed that's where I usually see them but you could also get them at Rite Aid the powders are $10 and you do get a lot for your money this is a color right here the black opal setting powder is a little darker than the Laura Mercier setting powder I'm gonna swatch both powders the first one this is from black opal oh I didn't know my light so you guys to see the actual color so this is Black Opal. This one is Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier here and Black Opal. See both powders. Black Opal is a little darker, but I'm sure it will look perfect on the eyes. The concealer that I'm gonna use is Ruby Kisses and this is Warm Honey. Alright guys, so I'm going to use Laura Marcy on this side and I'm going to put a generous amount so you guys could see the color. I want you guys to actually see how well both powders look. This powder, like I said, is a little lighter than the Black Opal, but once you blend that out, you can't tell which one is which. So I'm going to use the other side of my sponge and I'm going to use black opal. I'm looking at both powders in my mirror and you can't really tell which one is which at all. The Laura Mercier powder is a little finer than black opal. The black opal powder is very thick. I like that about the Black Opal setting powder. Not saying that I don't like the Laura Mercier. I love it. Both powders are not flashback. If you like taking pictures and you don't like that white cast, like the banana powder, you could use this powder. So we are going to do one side first and then we're going to do the other side. I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to dip it in and I'm going to put it all over the face. Ooh, it's in my hair. On the side, I'm going to be using this brush. This is from Shaney. You guys could see both powders on my face. You can't really tell which powder is which, and I love it. Both powders are not even heavy, guys. I'm gonna use this spray from Milani. Let's just be real. Can't even tell. Right? 10 bucks, 40 bucks. Which one you choose? Which one you like? Pick one. <laughs> if you can't afford the Laura Marcier setting powder, 
just go and pick this up and try it out I'm so happy that I got my hands on both powders and I could show you guys how it works for my skin and honestly speaking I don't have no regrets getting the lower Marcia powder I haven't seen any video on YouTube talking about the comparison of both powders if I did see a video like this in the past I would have picked up the black opal instead of the lower Marcia it's really flawless let me know in the comments below which powder you guys prefer have you guys used this powder before thank you guys again and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys